Hello everyone, Alex here. Today I'm going to show you how to create a OneNote project out of a template. First thing we're going to do is I'm going to show you how to create a template. Then we're going to create a project using the same structure as that template. And then finally, I'm going to show you how to share it with the rest of the world. Hi everyone, this is Alex with BIM It Up, where we help you with professional training and coaching in mechanical, electrical, plumbing, fire protection systems, and Autodesk platforms like Revit and AutoCAD MEP. Let's get started. So the best way to create a template is to first understand exactly what's happening when we create a OneNote file. So let's go ahead and open our OneNote application. And as you can see right now, I don't have any open notebooks. So let's go ahead and create one. So I'll go File, New, Browse. I'm going to browse to a local location. So I'm going to go to C, Users, Alex. And I'm going to drop it right here. And I'm going to call it BIM it up project one. I'm going to go create. Now, as soon as I open this, I'm going to show you here in parallel what's happening under users Alex. See, a new folder was created with this name, BIM it up project one. And inside of it, right now, I have nothing other than new section one, which is this tab right here, and this, which is a table of content which right now only contains this. Now, as I populate this, so let's say this is my general information, and I'm gonna create another section, and I'm gonna call this one uh, coordination. And then under coordination, I'm gonna have three pages. I'm gonna have coordination with architect. I'm gonna have another page, and I'm gonna call it coordination with civil and another page and I'm going to call it coordination with owner. And now I'm going to create another section and I'm going to call this section construction administration. And then under construction administration, I'm going to have a page called RFIs and another page called submit. Let's say I'm happy with this structure. I love this structure and I want to replicate it in future projects. So Let's see first what happened in that folder. You see, as I was typing all this, this folder was mimicking my section. See, general information, general information, coordination, coordination, construction administration, construction administration. And then again, this is just my table of content, which contains these three sections right here. So let's say I'm happy with this and I want to keep it. What I can do is I can export this. So I can come to File, Export, and I can export the whole notebook. See, this is key, not the page or the section. I want to export the whole notebook and I want to export it as a package, OneNote PKG. Once I do that, I can give it a name. In this case, instead of BIM it up project one, I can call it template. Then just make sure that the type is one package and that we're exporting the current notebook. So I go save and just like that, now if I go to users Alex, I'll see that template.one package has been created. And we can see this as some kind of zip file that we can unpack. And in order to unpack it, it's very simple. I can either double click here, or you can go to file open. The key here is that once you browse to the location of that template, you're gonna be able to see it only if you have one package selected. See, it's right here, template.one package. So if I click on open, it's gonna ask me to unpack it. And here's the key, you can unpack this wherever you want and with whatever name you want. So if you wanna to browse to, let's say that same location that we're at, which is C users, Alex, and then you wanna call this BIM it up project two, you can create, and just like that, now you have a project called BIM it up project two that copied all the sections including all the pages that I wanted. All right, so that's how you create a new project using a template. Now the next step is you would like to share this project. Now think about it, it makes sense. If you like this kind of content, go ahead and subscribe to the channel, click that bell, you get notifications, and then you don't miss any of our videos. And if you're serious about your professional training, go ahead and visit us at bimitup.com, and over there you can contact me directly for some professional training, right? Because right now, that project, if you go to properties, you see how it's located locally under C, Users, Alex, right? But now if I want to share this with people, I would have to come here to File, Share, and now I need to select a location where I want to upload my notebook. 
Typically it's gonna be OneDrive, so I'm okay with this. And now this is key. My notebook is now syncing to the new location. So my project is no longer located under C users. So let me click OK to clarify this a little bit. Before I add anyone else that I want to share the project with, I want to show you that when I unpack this template using the name BIM it up project 2, a new folder was created with that project structure that I like so much, right? My section construction administration, my coordination section, and my general information section, and then my table of content. So that's great. But now this project is not located here anymore. This was the starting location. But now I'm sharing and I uploaded it to OneNote. So if I go to OneNote and I go to Documents, so you can see how that internet shortcut for my project was created. Hold that thought for a second and let's finish sharing our project. I'm going to share it with, let's say, the best training option available, which would be obviously BIM it up. So I'm sharing with myself. Now that I share the project, if I go back to my internet shortcut, if I double click on it, it'll open with an internet browser like Chrome or Microsoft Edge. And now you see all your sections here and all your sections have all your pages. So for example, coordination has coordination, architect, civil and owner. Now back to the application. The big question is where is that file or folder located? Because this is just a shortcut. So if you come here, and you right click and you go to properties, you'll see that it seems like the location of this file is OneDrive personal documentos. But what happens is that if I go to that location on my Windows Explorer, you'll see that I'm here, C users Alex OneDrive documentos. And then all I see is the BIM it up project to shortcut. See, I don't see it here anywhere, right? So it's just a shortcut. So in order to find the location of this project, you would have to go to your internet browser and then go to onedrive.com and then there under my files you'll find documentos and then here you see BIM it up project 2 see four minutes ago and you can see that this little icon here just tells me that this is a new item so here's where that actual project lives it lives online under onedrive in this particular case because this is where I uploaded it so if you want to delete this project, you would have to delete it from here. Let's say I want to delete it from my Windows Explorer. I would come here to BIM it up project two and I will click delete. And then see, I'm getting this message. Shortcuts to OneNote files can't be deleted from your OneDrive folder. Click to go to OneDrive.com and delete it from the web. So you would have to delete it from the web. So I will find it here. I will go to BIM it up project two and I will delete from here, delete. I don't want to delete it. Actually, let's just delete it because the tutorial is over. So I'm going to delete this file and then I'm good to go. I'm actually going to close this up and you can see that it's telling me it couldn't sync some of the changes. That's because I deleted the actual location of the file, which was up in the cloud.